Isla Morn. Hey, yo, what's going on, Chad? How are you? Hey, doing well, thanks. How are you? Hey, I'm, I know that guy. <laughs> I know that guy. Are you, uh, are you playing basketball and still swimming and crocheting and stuff, or...? I am. Are you still uh, are you still escaping uh, grizzly bears and cutting down trees? <laughs> Come on. As I understand it, uh, you uh, hail from our own hometown of Glen Ellen. Uh, well, I went to high school there, where I met Patrick, uh, Glenbard South High School, and College DuPage. You know, I would travel downtown to go to Second City and back and forth, and then I moved. Uh, to the north side of Chicago. You've been to Common Good Cocktail House before, yes? I have, I have. I forget the drink that I had, but it was very, very delicious. And then there were some samples. I could honestly say I have never tasted anything like these, these drinks before. Being someone who's of age and has gone to many bars, you know, all over the world at this point, and you go, yeah. you go, I, I think I know what everything tastes like. I was trying to figure out what it was and I was so off base. I think you took a shot in the dark yeah. um, at something, and they were like, yep, nope, it's scotch. And yeah. you're like, <laughs> I was like, yes, yes. you sure this isn't chocolate milk? Uh, okay. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do with you is uh, uh, find out what would be the Morn's favorite cocktail. It would have to have mezcal in it because it is summery. I want to sit outside, you know. And, and and enjoy people watching. I would do a mezcal based off of that, um, but I still I can't get away from the old fashioned. Um. Beautiful, I love it. Uh, and and just as as we start to like uh, brainstorm about uh, the design of this drink, it's, I think it's a really important thing to ask: What do you not like in a drink? What is the, what's that? What what is that digestive that you made me drink before? Patrick? Or, huh? Oh no, or, Patrick. <laughs> yeah. I don't want that. I don't want that in my drink. No um, more. Also, nothing too licorice-y in the okay. drink. Yeah. Yeah, nothing too licorice-y. Is there an experience you've had drinking that was like just the worst? I can tell you. I can. I can tell you about a bad experience that I had drinking something that uh, snuck up on me. It's my first time on a, on, on a, booking a TV show. You know, I moved to LA and I booked a TV show. I was like, oh, this is life changing. So, um, me and some friends went out to drink. There, I'd asked for uh, tequila and whiskey to be at the table. All they had was uh, vodka. And I was like, never heard of that before. Never heard of uh, an establishment only having vodka. That's interesting. The feeling I get when I drink too much vodka is not great. It's not very, it's not, it's not cool. It's not okay. By the end of the night, I was beating up a parking meter <laughs> because, because they had given this guy a ticket on his... And I didn't know the guy. I, don't, I didn't care oh, for him. But I looked at this really nice car, and he had a ticket on the car. And I was just like, why do they got to do him like that? <laughs> I was like, he didn't deserve this. He's trying to have a good night out. <laughs> just started punching the parking meter. The feeling I had the next day was disgusting. I like something that I can sip on. I don't want to get drunk. Where I like to just relax with something that I can have in my hand all day, maybe two, for the whole evening. And... Uh, so it has, to, it has to have some strength to it as well. Okay, so the Le Morne cocktail will not have vodka in it. Because we're collaborating, collaborating on a cocktail with you, uh, we'd love to uh, try to do this cocktail um, uh, with what you like and uh, donate the proceeds to um, a charity that you would um, hmm. uh, maybe offer as, as something that you would uh, support. Is there That's awesome, man. Um, so I work with a charity uh, called I Am. Um, uh, I A M M online.net. Um, it's a, a charitable organization. It's a, a medical ministry. They go to uh, all parts of the world and provide medical care, nurses, doctors, medicines, um, therapy uh, to people who, who don't have access to it. This is something my mom got me involved with. Uh, it's through, it's through the church of Christ in, um, in Chicago. It's, it's obviously our mission just as people to, to help those less fortunate. Um, and one big, big, big thing that they need is medical attention, mm -hmm. right? So that's, that's why this charitable organization exists. So that's definitely one that I would love to, to 
for for you guys to you know if if it makes sense for you guys to work with as well. Yeah, I mean that that sounds amazing. Uh, the the charity sounds sounds beautiful. It sounds like it aligns uh, with everything that that we would love and support. Uh, we look forward right. to being, of course, man. Being being any sort of a partner we can. Nice, nice. Yeah, much appreciated. And we'd love to get this cocktail going for our entire uh, summer menu. Uh, we'll, we'll try to come up with this perfect Lamorn drink, uh, and then uh, we're going to try to send it out to you, and we, uh, we, we can't wait to see what you think. Got them. I'm gonna go neat. I wanna go yeah. neat on this one. Because, oh, oh, just the packaging, see. it's shrink wrapped and they, they don't open very easily. They do not. Teeth on this one. Oh, nice. how, does, how does Kyle have all those muscles and can't open a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, oh. oh, yeah. Hey, magician. It came up. I did it, Kyle. Let me try to grab his, help him out because he's a young man and doesn't have old man strength like me. So we got the ice cube. Yep, got the ice cube. Uh, got the bottles open. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Ooh. That is delicious. It's, this is exactly what I was talking about or thinking about with obviously added element to it. Awesome. Oh my God, this is great. Um, yeah. I would love just through, through like the, the, the bar and through your uh, uh, drawing attention to it. Hopefully we can just like draw people's attention towards that charity also. And that way people can like see for themselves if they want to give more than just the $2 or $3 that would come from a cocktail sale. To, of course. Uh, the world uh, as a whole, just we need to help each other out as much as we possibly can. Yeah, definitely. My mom will appreciate it. And the kids more importantly will appreciate it. That's very great. Very dope what you guys are doing. And again, I thank you for, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Just, Thanks for the free drinks. Super also, smooth. thanks for, <laughs> for, for, you know what I mean? Thanks for just putting, putting this whole thing together.